What's going on, guys? Welcome to the finale of our March Madness tournament. Uh, we had four previous videos going over Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, and multi-platform. And the winner for Nintendo was Mario Odyssey. The winner for Sony was Spider-Man PS4. The winner for Microsoft was Left 4 Dead 2. And then the winner for multi-platform was Batman Arkham City. We have four, we're down to the final four. We have Mario Odyssey going up against Left 4 Dead 2. And we have Batman Arkham City going up against Spider-Man PS4. And then the winner of those two fights will go up against each other, and then we will crown a new ultimate game. Up first, we have Super Mario Odyssey versus Left 4 Dead 2. Now, there's two ways that you can go for this. There's the game that everybody can play, or there's the game that everybody wants to play. I feel like Left 4 Dead is a game that everybody wants to play, but people, but maybe your mom or your dad or your girlfriend won't let you play them, or your boyfriend you can go either way, um, because it's so bloody and it's so gory and it'll make people jump. Mario Odyssey is the game for everybody, and it shows because of how much Mario has just grown throughout the years. I think out of those two, me personally though, I would go with Left 4 Dead over Mario. Yeah. I would go Mario. I would go Mario also. Just because it's, it's you, more you... It, it's more playable by everybody. Not just like older audiences or like teenagers and all. I might get a jump scare games, so in Left 4 Dead, I did, <coughs> when I was watching it being played, I would jump a few times. Mm -hmm. When I have to make a quick decision like that, I'm not good at it when I feel pressured. So I feel like Mario Odyssey is more relaxing. That's what I feel. Yeah, I'm also, yeah. also going to go with Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with Left 4 Dead 2, personally. And, and there's no wrong answer. Super Mario Odyssey is, Super Mario Odyssey is a, a great game. It's very fun to play. But out of those two, for me personally, I'd go Left 4 Dead. But out of everybody, Super Mario Odyssey moves on to the final round with a score of 3-2. to two. All right. Up next, we have Marvel vs. DC. Spider-Man PS4 vs. Batman Arkham City. Ooh. Ah. That's weird how that turned out in the end. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. What we discussed in the Sony video is the reason why we chose this is because there's so much more replayability with Spider-Man uh, due to, because like, I even said in that video, I one day I just sat on, I really sat down and swung through the city for three hours because the swing mechanic in the game is so much fun. Um, it's also fun to go through New York as Peter Parker and do what you do. You it, There's parts in it where you can say hi and do the finger guns and stuff like that and how you do or how he would do in Spider-Man 3 and stuff like that. You can do that with systems. You can walk on the ground. Mm -hmm. In Batman Arkham City, when you go on the ground, you have to go. No matter yeah. what. Yeah. <laughs> but then going into Arkham City, there's more Predator missions, there's more, it feels like there's more at stake when you play Batman because of the Protocol 10 and how far it goes with the story and the depth that you see in the story. It feels like it just goes further than any Batman game has gone before. Or any Batman we has gone before, anything Batman has gone before. This is a very tough decision to make. I say, I say Spider-Man because you can do more instead of just, oh, you have to go here, beat these guys up. Whereas in Spider-Man, it's like you can just walk around the city, just swing around the city. You can do all these, like, side things. Yeah, I'm going with Spider-Man, too. 
there's just a lot more to do with inside the game than what there was with Arkham City, personally. I feel that, but... I think I personally have to go with Batman, just because of the lengths that that game took. And the... Because there's a lot of good DLC with it, too, like the Catwoman parts of it. Uh, and then there's also the Robin mission that you get after the game is over. Um, I feel like there's I, I, there is more to do in Spider-Man, but I feel like the actual story and actual gameplay is just a little bit better in Batman Arkham City. I vote Batman because I feel no disclaimer. I've never played either of the either of these games. I've just watched them th- to be played. I enjoyed watching Batman more because I felt more immersed in it. You know, felt kind of like when you get into a good movie, you get lost in it. You forget about the outside world. So I felt with Batman. All right, Jennifer, you're down to the final votes. I'm gonna go with Spider Man because I feel like I would enjoy Spider Man better than Batman. Okay. Spider-Man wins. Spider-Man moves on to the finals. All right, we are down to the final matchup. We have Super Mario Odyssey versus Spider-Man PS4. (laughs) I'm, uh, this is probably going to get a lot of hate from a lot of people, including most of the people that are in this chat or in this video. I don't like Nintendo. I've never been a big fan of Nintendo. Uh, so, out of those two, even though I have played Super Mario Odyssey, I think most of the other games that I've played on Nintendo have been very boring for me and very low-level, at least for me. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing, I just I just enjoy more immersive video games. Out of, those, out of these two, I think it was Spider-Man, because I had more fun with it. Yeah, I'm going Spider-Man. I love Super Mario Odyssey. Jennifer. I'm going with Super Mario Odyssey on this one. All right, it's two versus two, Mike. Wow. Wow. <laughs> now, you, now you see the pressure that I had on me. And you waited until the final one to do this. Yeah, and this, and this is even more pressure because this is what we're going to say and wins the whole thing. Oh. So. Mike, can you pee with all this pressure that's happening to you? Can you talk while- can you pee while we were talking to this all? I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> can't do a lot of things at the same time. Whoa. Sometimes I forget to breathe. Uh... Wow. Explain your- explain your favorite parts of both games, because you play both yeah. games. I like Super Mario Odyssey, because it's like... Super Mario 64, in a way, where you go and you do certain things and you get the, the power moons, like the power stars. I like Spider-Man also because it's, it's like Batman, in a way, because you get all the gadgets Look, and you can also fight, fight his villains. Mario just feels like, okay, but what if there aren't any around feels like it's a bigger game because there's way more, like, there's more power moons in it, so it's going to take you longer to, to finish. Spider-Man's Spider-Man. You can just swing around the city if you want. Also, Stan Lee's in the game. Oh, Stan Lee's in the game. Yeah. I like Spider-Man. Spider-Man's cool. I said Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Well, here's my other question. Now, with these two, once before we were talking about how some games are for all ages and some are not, is Spider-Man really for all ages? What is actually Spider-Man rated before, you know, Teen. Yeah, it's like yeah. Teen for teen. Teen. Yeah. But the thing is, though, is that it's still more. There's some blood in it, but it's not like it's just pouring out. Spider Man's a more because... mature Spider Man game. That is gruesome. Yeah. yeah. But it's still more. You feel like you feel like you're reading a comic book with it. Right. You're playing, um, and you're. You you just you feel like you are swinging through the city, and yeah, you, you feel, feel like, like you are having Spider-Man. to make these. You you feel you you actually feel like Spider Man. Yeah. This is the best Spider Man, the best Peter Parker, the best everything that we've seen from any movie or any comic book or video game. Yeah, I say Spider Man. So we have three Spider Man and two Mario. Yeah. All Spider-Man right. Wins. So the. The official winner of the tournament of the greatest video games of all time is Spider-Man PS4, coming through with an upset victory.
see self-doubt. There's an invitation to be greater. This is your opportunity to prove it. Rated T for Teen. All the way from uh, facing off against Final Fantasy VII, which is considered the best Final Fantasy game of all time, going up against the great God of War and tackling that down to the ground and making it making Kratos beg for his daddy to beating the Batman to beating the greatest video game character of all time in Super Mario Spider-Man PS4 wins it. What are your guys' thoughts? I actually want to ask the question. I don't know how well perceived and loved the Spider-Man game is, but do you think that how do I this? Do you think we're going to get cracked for what we missed? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Time. Big time. We're about to get a lot of shit. Because <laughs> everyone's got their okay. opinions. But those are the best video games come for us. Let's let's say that. These are our these yeah. were our top video games that we've played. And so yeah, so, yeah, so before you think about giving us the thumbs down, think about that. Well no, give <laughs> give us your opinion. Tell us what you think of the tell us what you think in the comments. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff with this. Uh, we're even thinking about doing a superhero draft, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and we will see, Yeah, I've told you guys about this. We'll see but you guys next time. I thought it was this or that. See ya. <laughs> Brian's talking about videos that we don't know anything about. It's crazy. Tripping.